When the right people come together at the right moment, when they care almost as much about winning as they do about each other, they can become the best of the best. Welcome to the Best Soccer Show, the best soccer show in the whole world. Here we go! It's the best soccer show. Jason Davis, Jay Rodius, Jared Dubois. What's up, baby? Ready for a, a special episode of this, the OG American Soccer Podcast. I'm not sure. There might be one or two out there that's older, technically technically speaking. But we combine yeah. old and best. That's what we do. We combine oh, them. Like a that's, wine. That's right. That's right. We We... We are very much like a wine, somehow. I don't know. Explain that to me. You're the wine guy. You're the, uh, the... We have low. We're low in sulfites. Uh, uh, high in tannin. <laughs> how are our tannins? Our tannins are good. High we, tannins. It gets you right here. We get you right here okay. in the neck, right? There. That's oh, how you know that, that little... we're. That's how you know we got I a little bit left in the bottle. I know what you're talking about. I already saw Holden jumped in here. You put him on the screen because today, today is a very special episode. Uh, we mm. will play pick your poison many times over. Q and A. Binary choice. You gotta pick one or the other. Let's, gotta, let's be I honest. We, there's not much news out there. I think we also got some F Mary kills in there uh, as oh. well from the Slack. Uh, we'll see about that. All F yeah, all it's, the time. It's not well, right. If you could choose one of those things, I think I'm. Yeah. Oh, there's um, four cards. My bad. There, <laughs> there are. Uh, there are. Um, Damn dog, that's in a pro. There are a couple of things out there in the news. Uh, Weston McKinney got racially abused. Sucks. Hate it. Juventus is back in him. Hopefully, figure that out. Yep. Uh, what else? What else? Uh, Swanson and Macario are back. You cannot stop Josh Sargent from scoring. He continues to score. The LA Galaxy are good again. Oh, whatever. Just Galaxy. saying. Just saying. The Galaxy. Who cares about the Galaxy? Uh, there are a couple of things. If you have American soccer news that you would like to throw in, feel free. Drop it in the chat, and we will add it to the program when appropriate. But because this is not only a pick your poison show, but a, a, a show to stretch our legs out it's been a while since we had a a, a j rodius game yeah concocted, man, i'm excited i have made a game created. for tonight and not just if i got a game because let's be honest no one wants to watch you play with yourself so we have uh we have uh, what j rodius entendre there what? what happened one person in this world one person okay it's in the mirror don't say don't say no one person Oh, okay. One other person. So Not what we have done, what I have done is I have scoured the bestie universe and I have found one of our listeners that is willing to come on and take you on. He is a New York Red Bull supporter by heart. Don't hold it against him. And it's his birthday today. Please ah. welcome. Please welcome. If I hit the right button. Kyle. Hey, hey, Kyle. Happy birthday, Kyle. Thank you. Thank Happy you. Happy birthday! How old look, are look, you? Look, we both represented our teams on that. You're, I guess, Jason, you're you're, you're uh, supporting Jason. your team. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that you got Red Bull. He's rocking Red Bull. You're rocking Galaxy. Did I, you live I'm, in I'm, Omaha at some point, Jason? Uh, no, but but oh. they sent me this shirt, and I was telling you before the show, I've dropped enough weight where I feel good in it. So, and they beat <laughs> Des Moines Menace last night in the Open Cup with with Sasha and Tesho Akadeli and and Roger Espinosa all playing for Des Moines. So, shout out to Union yeah. Omaha. So, there you go. They got an incredible badge. That's a great. Come on, that's a great badge. It is a great badge. That's a great badge. Okay. That's a Wolf original as well, right? I believe it is. I believe yeah. it is a Matthew Wolf. So we have brought Kyle on. We've brought him on on his birthday. First of all, for a happy birthday to him. Is it? Is are we allowed to say the age? It's through. Yeah, isn't, okay. isn't it through thirty? Is it thirty to this year? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thirty. Nice. He's got a lot of. He's got a lot of flack in the well, slack. I got to do some math. <laughs> Man. I don't want to tell you how old I was when you or how how old you were when I graduated high school. I don't want to think about it. Nope. Yeah, nope, it's, not, it's not, not a good nope. game to play. That's a game we won't be playing tonight. Nope. The, you know what's uh, nice though? Yeah. Kyle does not remember the 1998 World Cup. Absolutely cannot possibly be possibly possible that he remembers that one. And maybe 06 no, is fuzzy. You, no, I remember 06. Oh, you remember? I remember 06. You were a young yeah. lad. Young lad. Okay. So, uh, Kyle, tell the other listeners out there. How can they play if they ever want to come on the show and play? How did you, were you found today? I joined the uh, Best Life Show Patreon. There you oh. go, man. My man's on that <laughs> Patreon. He's on the Slack. He's actually, God, for years he's been on there. And uh, one of our active members on there. 
Uh, definitely getting in New York Red Bull defense wars against other people in there, especially certain Columbus Crew supporters. Um, it's it's <clears> intense <throat> in there. It's all in good fun. It's all friendly, but it's intense in there. There's, well, some, there's some you don't understand, so. Jason. You don't have a team. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's you know right. what it's like to defend things. I'm a soulless soccer fan. You know what it's like when, when, like Kyle and I, when you go through ten year stretches of your team not being what you want it to be. So right yeah. now, both of our teams yeah. are good, and you may we may be insufferable for a while. Well, here's the thing. You, you, I, I guess what you're saying is the good times make up for the bad times, but that feels like you're just choosing to be sad, and I don't want to choose to be sad. I want to be happy. So. All right, let's see yeah. if you're going to be happy or sad after this game. So the game today, um, the game today is called 7-11, okay? And uh, what I'm going to do is there's going to be two rounds of this where both Jason and Kyle will play a round each. What it is is I have four fairly iconic games that I have pulled from uh, soccer history, mostly all U.S.-based. And uh, what I'm going to challenge them is uh, Kyle will have first choice. I'll give both teams in the first round. He can choose which one he wants to play with. And uh, their challenge is to give me seven of the starters and that 11 players with only getting one wrong along the way. Okay. If that, that's worth one point. If you want to go for more points and you feel confident about the team you've chosen and how good you could be, you can get double points if you can name all 11 and you can get up to two wrong in your you guess know, along the way know, this is why i failed out of college so i don't have to do stuff like this and here you are making me like take tests yeah but something. the difference about this is you've studied for this uh, well, uh, so, so, somehow you showed up to class somehow, you showed up to class yeah, because true. i know you i know you've seen these games that is why uh, i failed out of college because one I little uh, one little class. wrinkle i'll put along the way along the way as you're naming your seven if you miss and you're wrong but you named a player that subbed into that game that guess won't count against you you don't get credit but you won't lose a guess on that one. Ah, okay. okay. All right. So any questions before I start? I mean, I'm sure there's plenty, but too late, too bad. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right. All right. All right. So what I'm going to do here, it would help if I actually had the right thing up in front of me, my Google spreadsheet. Where is it? There it is. Okay. All right. Round one. Kyle, you can choose between the 2021 Nations League final, USA versus Mexico, naming the American players on the very first Nations League championship starting 11. Or you can choose the 2018, the, it's October 28th, 2018, the day New York Red Bulls clinched their supporters' shield against Orlando City. So wow. do you want to try to name the teams? Because here's the, here's the game theory right here. Even though you may do pretty well with the Red Bulls, do you want to make Jason play the Red Bulls? Or wow. yeah. do you want to go so whatever you're most confident in, whichever those two it is. So 2018, New York Rebels versus Orlando City, uh, mm. uh, October 18th, the day you guys clinched your supporter shield. Who were the starting 11? I don't, or, I don't like that, that Kyle's got a complete poker face right now. I cannot tell what no, he's doing. I don't know. Um, or 2021 Nations League winning. Yeah. Trying to think, the Red Bulls game. 2018, that was the year Jesse left, right? Yeah, uh, I, I I don't know. Hey, Jason, you can answer the <laughs> questions. No, I'm not no, sure how much no information you want to have. From, from Wink Rodius. I would nah, say, oh, Wink nah. Rodius, is that what you said? Uh, <laughs> um, I'm not going to ask you what coach they finished like that year. Or, Orlando would be a little tougher to pick their lineup for. Sorry, what's that? We'll, we'll do the 2018 game. 2018 game. So you're going to take the New York Red Bulls. Jason is so happy with you right now. Jason, way, just I, what, I how many do you think you could have got? Can I clarify something? Can yeah, I ask ahead. Wink for a clarification of go the for rules? Go sir. Please? I will allow it. You're presenting two games. When you present those two games, is there a choice in those games of which team we're going to name? Oh, I have if, only prepped the New York team because I assume he was. The, do you want to so take the, the Mexico team, is what you're saying? No, that's that's what I'm asking. I think he oh, no, was I, I, I have I have yeah, I think the I New York team. I have prepped the New York team. Oh, no, that's fine. Okay. Uh, I think I have the Orlando team, but I'm not going to do that. Too. Eleven okay. players started for the New York Red Bulls on that day in October 2018. That's what that's what Kyle is playing. Right? I feel this is fair, yes. even though this is his team. It's a very finite game, whereas the game you have to choose is a much more popular eleven. But uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see where, where it goes. So, all right. So do you want to pay for seven 
or one point and name seven, or do you want to play for two points and name eleven? I'll do one point right now. Okay, so you're going for seven. You can get one wrong along the way. Okay, your first choice. Uh, Louis Robles. Ding. No, I should I should be on the ding. I even though this is against me, I have to. Okay. <laughs> I'm the only Next. one with the ding. Okay, go ahead. Um, who's center back? Aaron Long. That is correct. Uh, Tim Parker. That is correct. That's three. Three of your seven. Dax Dax oh, wait, no, no, no. Tyler Adams. Changes Tyler Adams. Tyler Adams is correct. Good save. I uh, yeah, I was asking. <laughs> All right. Good I'm save. Letting him, I'm letting him get away with it. I'm not, I'm not saying McCarty's not on there. I'm just saying the one you guessed is correct. Okay, so that's four. Yeah, Changes to Adams. Um, that's a good swing, by the way, because he wasn't there the next year. That's a that's a good call. That's a good pull. Was Kaku playing? Say again. Kaku. No, that is he was not in this uh, game, so that is your miss, uh, and he did not sub into that game either. So this is your miss. You I have don't have a buzzer miss. available, so you get this. No buzzer, just the whole. Yeah, it was I'm sorry. That is four um, correct. You need to name three more, and basically looking at it, I think at least two of these you should be able to get. Uh, don't do that. Yeah. I'm just one, saying. One Sasha. One Sasha, for sure. Sasha was not in this game. He was, he was not in this game. I don't know why. I know, for sure. He was hurt. He was casted. He was in that squad, yeah, but he did not play yeah. this game. I don't know why that they is. They rested so, him before the playoffs? Was he carrying a knock? What's going on? I don't know. I, I thought for oh, sure Sasha was in this game as well. Man, that's so a couple uh, that's names rough. that you could have gone with. So zero points for this round. So uh, it would get, the big one, the big whale in this, Bradley White Phillips. Bradley yeah, White Phillips. For the end. <laughs> and <laughs> also the other one I thought you might get in here, Kamar Lawrence. You know what? I wasn't sure if he got hurt that game or in right before the playoffs because I knew um, Lee was playing in the playoffs. Also in this, uh, it was uh, Murillo. Um, um, is it? I just wrote Davis. Was this? Was it? Uh, Sean Davis. Bro. Sean Davis. Sean Davis. Sean Davis. Yeah. Uh, Moyle. Probably Grandma. Mule. Yeah. Moyle. Uh, Mule. Mule. Sorry. Uh, Romero and Etienne. Wait, so Romero's Kaku. Was that Kyle? Romero's Kaku. Oh, is it? Yes. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I okay. Then you got another <laughs> guess. Okay. Oh, I just named them all. You just named them all. Named them all. <laughs> Jerry I did name him all. I'm sorry. Through. I did. They had his church name on there. I didn't know that was his. Yeah, like, no. his I'm sorry. Yeah. Pick it up with his MLS. government name. His all right. I'll tell you what. Go ahead. Name one sub and you get the whole thing. There's three <laughs> subs sub. in that game. What is uh, Gorilla a sub in? No. I thought you said Royer. Uh, no, Gorilla. I forgot Royer was on the team there, too. I'm gonna give him oh the point. I messed up. I'm gonna give him the no! point. I messed up. I'm calling. I, I can't. There's gonna. I'm gonna have point. to write. I'm, I'm sorry. Point. I don't know all Brazilians' church names. I okay, but you know Brazilians have government names and football <laughs> names, and you chose. Why would the Why would the the lineup not have like Kaku on it? Because it literally, he's on his jersey. Sometimes they do that stuff. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I apologize. Yeah. Then I apologize. Then. No, all good. All right. One point for one. One point for Kyle. Ah, you're lucky. He would have got that. Bradley Wright Phillips. Probably. Probably. Okay. That's the first right. place I would have Jason, gone. for you, let me check there's no Brazilians on the U.S. team. Nope, oh, no Brazilians. Man. Okay. It's a lodge of official complaint with the league office. This is terrible. Okay. If I lose, of course. If I win, I just overcame the odds. That's what that's what happened. Okay. <laughs> All, All right. right. So, in 2021 Nations League, Jason Davis. Okay. Who are you going with? Where are you going to start? Are you going to, oh, first of all, I'm sorry. Are you going to go for seven or eleven? Oh, man, I, I, I think I got to play it safe and go seven. I, I can probably get more than seven. that, but I. Okay. Seven. Going to tie him. Okay. Yes, I know, I know, but I, I got to just stay even, especially since I've been robbed and he's been given a, he's been given a free point because the, <laughs> the host can't handle the referee has screwed up. All right, I um, apologize. Take it up with MLS Soccer Soccer. Yeah, I will say Zach Steffen. Zach Steven is correct. Okay. I will say Mark McKenzie. That is a pull. I didn't think you'd get that one. I really no, thought that I, was a trap choice. You made a mistake in like the first four minutes of the game and gave him You're a right, goal. dude. I thought uh -huh. that was a trap choice right there. Uh, 2021. Uh, th this, okay. Christian Pulisic. 
Christian Pulisic, yes. The hard Only thing about I? tournament games like this is having to think who's had yellow cards, I that know. kind of thing. There's stuff like that. Uh, let's see. Or, for example, with Kyle, S Sasha Kleshen. I don't know how he he's, wasn't. He must have been hurt. He must have been yeah. hurt. He's he's hurt. Weston hmm. McKenney. What am I at? Weston McKenney is correct. That is four of your seven. Four of my seven. Uh, then I will then go with. Man, I, okay. Um, I will go with Serginio Dest. Correct. Two more. Tyler Adams. Tyler Adams is incorrect, but mm. he did sub into that game, so you still have one extra guess. Why do he I, subbed okay. into that game. I, I'm remembering the game. I'm just remembering the... the that kind of throws the... things weird, huh? I was like, why would Tyler Adams not be in the starting lineup of that oh, game? Oh, okay. Um, it makes oh, you question everything. Did he start? <laughs> did he start? How many? How many of the sub things do I get? Just, just one. If you keep matching them, I'll, I'll, okay. keep, I'll keep giving them to you. Kellen Acosta. Kellen Acosta started that game. Okay. Correct. You have one, two, three, four, five, six. You need one more starter. I need, I need one more. Then Tim Weah. Tim Weah is incorrect, but he subbed into that game. Damn it. You get okay. one more now, guess. Now I'm trying to think of what the hell was happening in that. Now there is a little bit of advantage Jason has here because that this is pre uh, post COVID, so there's five subs where yeah, 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 Halloween yeah. had three subs on his. I know another sub, but that doesn't help me get the get to the points. I'm sure All people right. are screaming you right need now. One more. I, why am I not remembering who started up top in this game? Why why is that just not in my head right now? Um 2021. 2021 first nations league man in the first mirror nation. um yes i remember i i'm i'm, I'm, I'm even picturing... if you picture the picture that's in the I second picture... half the very end of the game the subs I... all over that picture well, yeah but those are yeah, subs. subs that's the thing and kyle I... do you remember where you were when you watched that game yeah i was at home i think i was in bed <laughs> pretty late here <laughs> was that in cincinnati right. I, i'm gonna take a shot no, here. i was in what? vegas so it ended at like one in the morning that first one was in vegas oh you're right they party it was in vegas yeah Man, I, right, okay, I'm, I'm taking. A, I don't think the time, timing doesn't work for this. Uh, oh man, Walker Zimmerman. Walker Zimmerman is incorrect. A miss. The Who choices else? you could have gone with. Now the tra what, another trap thing to happen in this game. Serginio Death started on the left hand side. Yeah, first one was Dem. We get yeah, five in the there. back, right? Yeah, that's so, what I thought. So I'm trying to figure out what I'm missing with center. Backs. I'll, I'll tell you right now. So the uh, Yedlin was the other fullback because Des played pivoted on. I mean inverted on the. Oh, left. Did, I, did I already lose? Did I already miss? Yeah, you lost. Yeah, that was your last guess. Yeah. Uh, you, you missed. You got six of the seven. The other two center backs were Brooks, John Brooks. Brooks see, that's why it's not in there. Tim Ream. Ah, uh, see, I was gonna go with Ream, but for whatever reason, I was like. <laughs> Timing the other wise, two starters up front, and work. now you I'll be surprised you didn't get this one because they kept talking about this stat a lot during this last uh US versus Mexico Nations League. Reina had, had really good games against Mexico in all three of these. Reina yeah. started that game. He started that game. He started that I, game. I, 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 I'm, 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 I'm remembering no, him in the picture, and he's wearing a penny in the picture, right? Is yeah, he, I think are, he'd been subbed off by that time. I think off. he was off. That's what I wasn't sure yeah. about. Okay. And yeah, he had a penny in the picture. You're correct. And then the last one, Josh Sargent. That's who I couldn't remember who started mm -hmm. up tough. And yeah, like, so the only one of those I really thought you would get is maybe Reem. The other ones were tough. Reem was a little you, bit tough as well. You know how you have a dream, and in that dream there's a person, and maybe some things are happening that, you know, whatever. And that person just doesn't have a face. Like, what if for whatever reason in your dream there's no face? Mm -hmm. That's the U.S. Men's National Team center forward for a long time in my head. Like, who was it? Like, I can't. Which guy? Which, so which one? it's crazy. Just three years on, Yedlin not with the program. Brooks not in the program. Um, I would say McKenzie is 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 in the in the he's on the French, outer pool. Not, outer yeah. pool. You know, yeah. Stefan yeah. not even the program right now. Nope. Nope. What was that Kyle? So McKenzie is not really even a starter. Anyway, yeah. Start the bottom. Yeah. yeah. So second round. Your choice in these two, they get two teams to choose from again, and Kyle will go first again because he's our guest. Kyle, do you want mm -hmm. 2002 World Cup when you were only six years old? Game's wait, rigged. Eight rigged. years old. Rigged. You want 2002 <laughs> World Cup, U.S. versus Portugal. First game of the World Cup. <laughs> or do you want 2022 World Cup, U.S. versus Iran? 
the last Let's year. Do U.S. versus team. Iran? Because I do not know that portion. That, that's the way I figured this was going to go. Like the, <laughs> it was more appropriate for Jason to get the 2002 anyway. I, as I added, do you want to go first or second so you know how many points to go for? Uh, I'll let Jason go first this time. Oh, okay. okay. Like I Jason feel like we've done a roster fari on this Mexico team so many times. Yes, I don't I think know. Portugal. That's why I chose I, the Portugal I game. Know, but this is where, okay. All right. Uh, seven McBride. or 11? Seven, seven. seven. Doing seven. seven. Going for seven. a first seven. One wrong. You can get one wrong. Only three subs in this game. So this is nice. You're getting the three sub game. He's getting the five sub game on this one. So it's nice uh, inverted from last time. All right, you said Brian McBride was your first choice? Yes. That is correct. Um, let's see. Again, subs. This is where it gets real. Okay. Uh, Clint Mathis. Clint Mathis is a no. Is it not a start? He didn't sub Did in not sub season? in either. Damn it. I'm remembering. My game You're thinking 2006. My... I th- no, 2002. No, You're thinking 2002. No, yeah, 2002. I'm thinking that was about Korea. It. That was Korea. Okay, Korea. All right. All right. Well, so you're, already, say... you're already down with your blank. John O'Brien then. Yeah, better go some chalk here. All right. Claudio Reyna. Claudio Reyna did not no? start that game. Was he... Yeah, he didn't start that game. Did he come off the bench why. in that game? I don't, he did not come off the bench that game either. You are dead in the water on 2002 yeah, World Cup already. Wow. That was a while ago. That's a tough okay. one. To pull. Hold on. Let, okay. He, let, let, play it through, play through a little bit. Play it through a little bit. Yeah. Donovan started yeah. in that game. Donovan started. That is correct. Uh, Santa started in that game. Santa started in that game. Yep. Uh, um, that would have been. You're missing some chalk still. That would have been Friedel and goal, right? Friedel and goal, correct. He started all three um, games in that World Cup. Chalk, other chalk. All four, excuse me. Other chalk in that game. One of the biggest names of the of the time, most stalwart names of the time, I should say, not biggest. Um, never yeah, displaced from this team. Uh, Think in the back. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm center back. I'm blanking. Religious for some reason, huh? What? Pontiff. Pa- oh, Eddie Pope. Yeah, of course. Eddie Pope. Eddie Pope. Yeah, that's where my brain should have gone first. Let me give you a couple of those that maybe aren't shocked, but Beasley started that game yeah, as well. Both Donovan that's and where Beasley. I gone. Yeah. Um, Ernie Stewart. Ah, uh, that, that should I should have had Ernie for sure. Yeah, Kyle, you want to take a guess at any of the last three? Uh. No, I think we're gonna pass on that one. <laughs> okay. Uh, Frankie Hayduck started that game. Oh, Frankie started. So that would have been okay. Uh, so in the in, he in was the, the only ba- standout in the '98 World Cup. So by 2002, he was actually part of the team more. In the back, it's Santa you got two. Pope, you, got one, you got one center back still. Frankie and uh. He, I'll give you a hint. You should remember him this game because something pretty important happened with him in this game. Something pretty important. He played a think, game of soccer. Think own goal. <laughs> oh, um, Jeff Agus. Jeff Agus. Okay. Scored an own goal in that game. And the last yeah. one, this is the gentleman who kind of had a breakout game here because he wasn't even going to be in the starting roster, let alone the uh, the starting uh, that's, lineup. Pa- that's Pablo Mastroeni. Pablo Mastroeni, who went in with the Chris Armas injury. God. That's correct. Damn it. Sorry. <clears throat> All right. So Jason on cool. zero points I'm through. Cool. Just, sorry. Uh, I'm getting blanked on my own show. I'm cool. It's all good. Now, Kyle technically has a point. But let's it act like he does it because I messed up on, the, on that one. Half a point. He's got half a point. All it's, right, under, so, it's, half it's under protest. You're going under for protest. seven or you're going for 11? I'll do seven again. I don't trust right. myself to that full Going to seven, you can get one wrong unless you name a sub. 2022 World Cup, U.S. versus Iran. The third game, I believe that was? was the third yes. game? Yeah, third England was second. Yeah, that was the last third. one. All right, who are you going to go with? Uh, Turner and Nett. Turner and Nett, that is correct. Um, trying to think. Anthony Robinson played, I believe, every game. Jedi is correct. Uh, Weston definitely started. Weston McKinney is correct. Uh, Adams. Adams is correct. Uh, Pulisic. Correct. I'm trying to think. Did I say Musa? You did not say Musa. Are you saying it now? Yeah, Musa. Full MMA was in that game. Well, That's one, two, three, four, five, six. You need one more. This is a recency thing, man. It's so it's only really? fair. 
Reem is correct. My man made it seven in a row without getting any uh, wrong. Yeah. Let's All see right. if we can do the 11. Did Walker also start next to Reem? I'm sorry, say again. Walker. Walker Zimmerman? Uh, Zimmerman? Zimmerman, no, but he subbed into that game, so you're still alive. It doesn't okay. count. Uh, yeah, I'm not, I feel like Guess didn't start that game. I feel like it was like Yedlin or Moore. Interesting. So I'm going to pass on right back. Okay. Uh, Way. Okay. Way is correct. You got three left, hmm. and you've named the you, two of the positions you've identified correctly. Are the ones you haven't answered. The third one you haven't spoken. This of is yet. where you like. This is where you just striker. Like, yeah, random striker as well. Striker, forward. right back, center back. Yeah, it's between uh, Haji Jesus. Wright or Jesus, <laughs> and because I know Sergeant got hurt already, I believe. Right. Well, you guys aren't going to answer, but. Um, let's go with Haji that game. Haji Wright subbed into that game. So is that the game Sergeant got hurt? I'm not saying. I'm just saying Wright subbed into I'm that gonna game. I'm going to say Sergeant. Sergeant. Sergeant is correct. That is the game he got hurt. You're good on that. You got two left. Yeah. Haji it... started the next game against the Dutch. Yeah, center back and a right back. Center back. Let's just go with Dest. Dest is correct. Dest is correct. All right. All, All right, right. Center back. The other side that played. I'm trying to think. Do you know Jay? Do I know the other center back in that game? Mm -hmm. Yes, I do. Oh. Was it Cameron Carter Vickers? Yeah, I think so. Wait, who? Cameron oh. Carter Vickers. There you, go. Yes, there you go. <laughs> I, sorry, I, did, I didn't understand the first time. Didn't, My I bad. didn't quite hear you there. Nicely done, dude. Yeah, you yeah. got through the whole yeah, match. So for the record, you could have got the eleven because you named two people and they were both subs. The two, yeah, you, you would have gotten there. You got your your get out of jail. For Nicely time. done, sir. Was... Maybe two thousand two World Cup U.S. versus Rich Portugal was too hard. I'm sorry, I apologize. Nah, you know you tilted the. You know I would have said Reina too, though. I would have said Reina. I mean, if, because if he was starting by the Mexico game, he must have been coming off with some kind of knock or something like that. Because might have been. Well, means... like you so, so you said the midfield was the midfield, midfield was, pair was was Brian Mesterani. But I don't know if Brian was would have been playing as a as a holder. Stewart, uh, Sana. Stewart would have been playing probably in the midfield. No, Beasley. I'm sorry, Beasley. Sana must have played right back, or, or Sana probably played right back in that game because he and, could play. He was playing multiple positions at that time. And Frankie on the left. So Frankie Beasley on the been left. A winger in a four Sana four on the other he side. Been a, wing, a winger. So that would have been. Uh, it it would have been. Was it Donovan and McBride up top, or was Donovan on in the midfield? I'm guessing so, unless they played O'Brien up top. I guess it was Donovan. I'm going to guess it was Donovan. So that would have been Donovan McBride up top with a... Okay, uh, look. I'm being slandered. I just want to oh. mention, I had Tony Santa. Okay, I had Tony Santa. I didn't have some other guys. I had Tony Santa. Right? Sunday actually Cooper. is one of the ones you got. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, just, I, just, I just went with a couple of big hitters who didn't start in that game. You know, it's funny. Which... By the Mexico game, Reno was starting. So that's why I'm thinking it might have right. been some guy. And he wasn't one of the subs. The three subs were actually... Joe Max Moore, mm -hmm. uh, Kobe Jones, and Carlos Yamosa. So Kobe would have been a, a name I probably would have come up with at some point if I, mm -hmm. you know. I don't think you would have got Joe Max Moore or Carlos Yamosa. Yeah, I don't know. Joe Max is a, he's kind of a, this kind of slips from your mind a little bit, which yeah. is unfair to Joe Max. And he was a very, he was a stalwart back in the day. Kyle. Thanks for coming on, dude. Thanks for being victorious you, against Jason. You. You'll have that in your back. Bravo, You'll sir. remember your 30th birthday for <laughs> your entire life yeah. now. By the oh, way, yeah. Some people were guessing that. Calm down, Greg. It's soccer. It's soccer. <laughs> that Greg Berhalter maybe played in that game. He did not play in that game. He was on that roster, but he didn't play in roster. that game. Yeah. There we go. All right, Kyle. Yeah. Thanks for coming on, man. We appreciate it. Feel free to hang out. You'd be in the lobby over here or you hang out in the regular chat, whatever you like. Thanks for stepping up, dude. Thank, Thank you very you much, Kyle. All right. And thanks for so, being a Patreon, man. Yeah, that's a no huge problem. thing. Thanks for supporting the show. If you want to be like Kyle, who is awesome, patreon.com slash the best soccer show. Uh, also like the show on YouTube and subscribe and all those things, I'm trying to get those numbers up. I think we've been doing pretty good last month or so. Get those numbers up. So again, with some news out there, but nothing to really sink our in teeth into. Boy, 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 and now with the game done and Kyle victorious over me, who can't remember 2002, which, you know, I was 21 years old. Just saying. 22 years old. Something like that. Just saying. You know, uh -huh. I might have been... I might have been, you know, I might have blanked it all out for some reason. Okay. 
Let's answer some questions. Let's do some some pick your poison. I asked for the besties to give us some thoughts, uh, Jared, in the Slack, which, again, join the Patreon to get access to the Slack. If people want to throw up pick your poisons in the chat, absolutely do that, too. Make sure to read the name of the that. person that gave us the pick your poison in the Patreon, please. I will do that. I will start here. Okay, this is one of our newest besties. Thank you very much. Jonah says, would you rather live in a world where MLS is a top league in the world or the U.S. men's national team wins a World Cup? So basically you're asking for a long-term choice or a short-term choice. Sure. Okay, sure. here's what it's I'm going to go club with. club over country because if you're, if, you're cl- if you're club over country, then you want MLS to be great because it glorifies your club, right? Yeah, so here's what I'm going to say. I am going to go with the World Cup, and here's why. Okay. I think you I think you tangentially get the other one a bit if the US wins the World Cup. Wait, hold on. You're, there's you're a knock arguing, on effect. Are that, you arguing knock on effect? Okay. I think there's a knock on effect that the league and Americans in general are better if they win a World Cup. And I think MLS rising tide lifts all boats kind of thing. So right. I might as well right. take the world title and MLS gets a boost anyway. Okay, look, I, I like MLS. It's my domestic league. I follow it. I care about it. I've been covering it and writing about it and doing all kinds of stuff for, for a long, long time. Humble it's brand. the U.S. men's national team winning a World Cup 100 times out of 100, and it doesn't even matter whether that affects MLS or not. I don't care. I just want my country to win a World Cup. That's the thing I care, I've cared about most with my fandom for as long as I've been a fan. Okay. And I know you say I have no soul because I don't have a club team. I have, I have that, and you have chosen. a little bit of ginger in your beard. I have cho- what? What happened? What? what? You have a little bit of ginger in your beard. It's well documented that gingers don't have souls. <laughs> I have half a soul. My hair is brown. the The hair's not red. Ish. Um, what I was going to say though is that <laughs> now you threw me all off. I've completely, I completely lost my train of thought. Well, in that case, but, let me take what Peter Poison from the chat. No, no, no. I, briefly, because you say okay. I have no soul. I don't have an MLS team that I live and die with like you and your LA Galaxy. Mm. I am a Fulham fan. That has happened. I am I am oh. like screaming at the television on Saturday mornings now. So, you know. <clears throat> so you're there. the reason they've been losing lately. Uh, no. Well, they've had it up and down period but rodrigo i can blame tim good. reams uh not getting not starts on you not playing no okay. yeah okay go all ahead. right here's one from the chat this is from dan kane Yedlin. oh wait are we doing the are we doing the song every time or are we done no, i mean we don't have time? to because it's going to get repetitive but i mean i do love you have song. to you have to pick one deandre yedlin or aaron long on the 26th world cup roster <laughs> <laughs> if, you have to put him in one, one of, of them those on. guys is going i don't want to go to the world cup I, i'm saying the, the, the scenario <laughs> by know, dan blame him one of them has to be on the roster I know. okay all right all right okay 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 all right all right okay i already have my answer in my head and i know why uh, okay i think i think it's deandre yedlin because i think the guy is a pretty good locker room guy i think he's got the respect of the team and if you want to throw him on for 10 minutes to just run up and down the flank, he's got... He's he seen and messy naked, likely. Yeah. <laughs> that, that an advantage? That's an advantage. Okay. I don't know, man. Those Argentina dudes are good. Like, do you think he's like, oh, I'm, I'm less afraid of, of Argentina because I've seen Lionel Messi naked? And, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm going to go with Aaron Long, and here's why. Just a man. Here's how I do it. I don't take a third keeper. Aaron Long is my third keeper. He's taller, <laughs> bigger than Yedlin. If I it was in a break glass in case of emergency, oh, I put man. a big guy in goal that's just a human heartbeat that can maybe play goalie for a little bit. I see. That's interesting. That's cheating. You, you are cheating I took a lot. one. That's all, the only it's requirement was I had to take one. He didn't say how right. I take him. Let me go back to the, to, the, to the slack and the besties. Connor, would you rather give up showering or internet for a month? Which one Ooh. would you rather give up? That's a serious case of, case of crotch rot. I mean, here's but... the thing. There's crotch rot. You're definitely not getting laid. Your wife's not touching you with a 10-foot pole if you don't do the showering. Uh, but again, I have, outfit, internet. I have a loophole for this one, too. You ready? No, no loopholes. What do you mean a loophole? Stop cheating. It's all for not right. making oh, a left question. question. Okay, go ahead. I'm go taking ahead. internet, and here's why. Okay. I got a pool. Okay, so so you're saying that you prefer to keep the internet and you would just jump in the pool? I jump in that pool, sh- baby. Chlorine's a hell of a detergent. So you would rather give up showering than the internet? Now, hell now, yeah, I get paid by using the internet. I'd be, I'd, imagine, I'd be about, you wouldn't be able to do your job. 
Okay, well, that's true for me. That's why I can't say the internet. I would have to say showering. And again, I recognize none of my Good. important question from William Stevenson: Do we have access Ooh, to baby wipes? You know, we are always stocked here in in the Davis Valentine house, household. Plus, I'm a bidet household. Oh, you're a bidayer. And wow. my bidet has front and back. Not that I ever used the front, but for the you know, lady. Are you? Is this like a? Is, is this like an in-ground bidet? <laughs> Like, are, like what do they hover it's... usually? Like are they from <laughs> no, the no, ceiling? No. Like a like it, a like a dishwasher like... thing at the restaurant? No, no, no. Is it like an installed dedicated bidet? It is a add-on. Okay, that you, that's like... what I needed to know. Is this yeah. like an internet Amazon box? Thirty five dollars that... Amazon, baby. Okay. Get you a nice bidet. My, just my friend, my friend like has one of these. My friend has one of these in his house. And uh, you know, it's like the bathroom the guests use when people come over. And and we went there like a couple months ago. For you know to hang out, and uh, he had t- I knew it was there. I don't know, whatever. My kid, the fifteen year old, right? Because he mm. doesn't know. He comes out and he's like, "Dad, I'm all wet. There's some weird water he, thing on the, I, on the toilet." I've seen things. <laughs> he got that thousand yard stare. Yeah, he's like, my head hit the ceiling when I jumped off the toilet when I got shot up the you know what. So our little uh, niece came over for Easter, and she went in there and she just psh, like hit the ceiling. Like the water hit the water hit the ceiling. Like, this is the best thing ever. Yeah, 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 man. It's, so I'm, um, I'm going with I'm going with uh, giving up the shower because I can use the pool. Uh, William has got a wild pool and solution. Wet wipes. Hold on, wild, William has. I don't know how R rated we are today. William has a wild solution to the you won't get sex issue if you don't shower. And uh, yeah, okay. Uh, I'm just gonna leave that. That's for the yeah. visual people on YouTube. That <laughs> that's next level thinking. You got another one from Dude, the, the chat. Wet wipes or... was a good, the wet wipes are good. I haven't seen another one in the chat. So if you okay. go ahead and throw them it's in there, if you guys, I'll start. Uh, I'll start marking them if you got it. All right, there. let's go to Corey. He wants to bring it back to soccer. Shout out to Corey, our Detroit City FC fan, in the bestie Slack. Favorite U.S. men's national team players. This is not a pick your poison. It's a flat out question. Okay. Favorite U.S. men's national team players to watch, past or present. Not best player, just favorite player. Individually, your favorite. Yeah, I, I would say one of mine for sure past uh, in the past that doesn't get talked about enough. You actually mentioned him tonight, and that's probably the first time he's mentioned in a long time, and that's Clint Mathis. Oh, uh, that's an interesting one. Definitely okay. one. There was a time where Clint Mathis was appointment television. In an era where you didn't have streaming, you didn't have all these, all these kind of things, like – Clint Mathis, you never knew what he was going to do, whether MLS or when he went over to Germany, or when he came back, like Clint Mathis was appointment television as close as it came back in the right. day for us soccer. There was a moment. And look, I'm not trying to take anything away from tab. who was obviously a great player who, you know, had a moment in Spain, but didn't, his career didn't take him really a lot of places. Eric Winalda, who I think deserves, you know, very good player, very good goal scorer. People thought he had an attitude, whatever that you want to make of that. I would I'm love to be able to go back there and see him play in Germany. No, no one ever got to see that in America yeah, back yeah, yeah. in the day. Absolutely. I, I respect those guys, and, and I think they deserve their credit, and they came a little bit before Cletus, Clint Mathis. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But Clint Mathis crossed over. Mm. He crossed over. Yeah, yeah. And this is before – I mean, Donovan was coming along in 02. Obviously, he was 20 years old. People were talking about <clears> Donovan, and he was getting some heat. But people thought Clint Mathis was going to be our first really good sort of European successful American yeah. soccer player. Yeah. He yeah. had it in him. He had it in him. I mean, if anything, he almost had too much dog in him. You know, like there's a reason why we always talk about tapping. You're like, he was, yeah. wasn't getting the minutes he wanted. It yeah. was a Hanover. He was, he was deuce before deuce too. He was had Hanover that, 96. Is that where he was? Where was it? He did, No, he didn't go to Hanover. Did he? Was it Hanover? Well, Oh man, you're testing my knowledge here. Somebody man, called, I'm, I'm like, I, I don't think it's Hanover either because then he would have been there same time as Chirundolo, and I don't think that was the case. Oh man, I'm blanking the chat by us, but no, it was Hanover. You're it was right. Hanover? Okay, yeah, ding 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 for Mr. Dubois. Yeah, so the, the famous story is that um, he wasn't getting the minutes, even when he got minutes, he was doing things, but he just wasn't. It's kind of like Reina right now, it's that same kind of thing, except he was older, he wasn't as young as Gio Reina is, but. He's over there, and then finally the coach puts him in, and he scores a goal that saves the team on the night. He goes over to the coach right by him and taps his window, like, where's my minutes? Give me yeah. my time. And yeah. the guy, back in the day, you weren't allowed to do that kind of thing. You know, you couldn't be the star, the Not media star. You, you yeah, might Germany have gotten away with yeah. it. In, in England or something. That was September. It definitely was not a good thing for his career in Europe when he did that because he definitely got even less minutes after that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I Man, who's my favorite to watch? That maybe just isn't like the best player. Um, 
That's a really good question. I have to think about it. Uh, I'll throw another one out there, and this is one that people who know me know though that's, and I don't think he gets enough due. Um, as someone who grew up as a center back, an undersized center back, Michael Parker's for me. I've always had a okay. love of watching Michael Parker's, and I'm on the record saying that I still think he's probably the best positional defender that the U.S. has ever created. You, you have mentioned you like to mention him him on a pretty regular basis. Yes. Uh, yeah. So that, that's a, that's. A, I, I mean, look, I padded for time with two people. You still don't got one. No, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go to the back too, and okay. I will say, I'll say Gooch. Gooch was just dominant, a beast, man. Yeah, he was physically like, dominant. Yeah, you didn't. I don't know that I feel that way about any center back we've had for a long time. Like we have guys Ooh. who are good in the air, we have guys who are physical, but I don't know that we've had anybody where like, oh man, I'd be scared if I had Ooh. to fight. Match up. Battle I think CCV that. has that build to do that as well. I don't think he has the personality that I don't did. Think the personality. Where yeah, no, Gu- Gooch had the personality to go with it. Like he was, he was a guy you just did not want to mess with on the attacking end of the field. I mean Beasley, but I, you're going to recognize him because he old school he's incredible. Bees. Yeah, old school Bees. But, yeah, yeah, but Jitter tricky Bees, bees. the guy on the wing, the up and down. Yeah, and one two, and then playing that the into that space. Yeah, come on, Beasley guys, Beasley. Yeah. Go watch if you haven't watched highlights of Demarcus Beasley recently, and I included myself in this. Watch PSV watch highlights. Him. Go watch him, man. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Um, do you have I saw one from the couple. chat? Yeah, one Go from ahead. the chat. Would you rather interview Burhalter? I guess this is for you. Would you rather interview Burhalter or actually know the full process of him getting rehired? Okay, that's from FIFA Man Seven. Because you can get and, a, you can have an interview with him, you know, and you can get you can land that uh, land that whale, you know, and on your show. Or would you rather yeah. have someone, an insider, coming on the show and well, telling I you? I tell you right now, the show the show that I currently do, he will not be on that show anytime soon. I mm. promise you that. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, th- you can figure it out, you know, if you need to figure it out. He doesn't like you. I get it. Yeah, he hates me. Greg Berhalter notably hates me. No, uh, I guess I would go with the latter because I think I have talked to him, if not on this show, but I think I have interviewed Berhalter in the past. Certainly did when he was in Columbus. That's not the same thing as this national team head coach, I know. Uh, I'm pretty sure I've talked to him since he's been a national team head coach. And that doesn't do anything for me anymore. Greg Berhalter... I don't know. How, it's not that he's boring. It's that he is like you want to just it's not even rolling your eyes because he's saying bad things or stupid things. You're not. It, it's just it doesn't. It's fluff. It's a lot of well, fluff. FIFA man seven who gave that question says on the best soccer show, not on your show. Honestly, oh, I have no desire to have. I'd much rather have the T. That's me. You know me. I'm TMZ. Oh, sure. Sure. I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't even know that we're like, I don't even know that we're interested in guest heat anymore. No. I mean, I'm not saying we're above guests and we might no. have them. I would rather have our listeners you know, be the guest. You know who the best guest on this show is? Is that JTT? O-M-F-B-G-13, it's JTT! Who? I mean, that's, that's, that's Where's he guy. at tonight? What, 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 he's just playing hooky, man. How about this one? How about Morgan Tensa? Hey, to go back one question, I love this from Steve Hildago to talk about Gooch. None of our current center backs are fighting Zlatan. That's true. None of them would get into it. <laughs> no, not absolutely not. In fact, Tim Reed would probably invite him on his podcast. Be like, no, that's not fight. Let's talk it out on, on my podcast, which is on the what network is that on? Whatever that network is. I don't know. Oh, Tim Reed's podcast is part of a network and oh. used to be on Sirius XMFC, but then got pulled off because he wasn't allowed to be on both those networks. And uh, oh, yeah, it's the gentleman who like to wear who like sports to wear coats, sports coats, speedos. Yeah, they they wear those things. Dudes right, and Speedos. Um, that's the name of it. <laughs> Dudes and Speedos. Let's see. This is uh from our man Kyle, who oh. we just had on the show. Uh let me let me see. I gotta go to this one because it is um it's a longer one. Besides the obvious big name players like Mbappe, Ronaldo, Kevin De Bruyne, Modric, Griezmann, which player would you like to see come to Major League Soccer? Oh, like you would know some current player that we're not going like back in the day with someone we wish we would had or something like that. Yeah, current yeah, somebody player. who's playing right now who they could target. I mean, we we think Griezmann's coming at some point. You you know, there's a chance of that happening. We we got Olivier Giroud coming, right? So I I guess we got to think what does MLS have? What what is what what kind of player is successful, or is it just the entertainment factor? I guess I'm trying to think. Do I want a person who's a good fit for MLS? Do I want a person that's entertaining? Do I want a person like, do you want someone that's going to contribute to a team's success? Like I try to think what the right 
answer is for this in terms of that. I mean, he Kyle Kyle made it tougher by taking really big names off the board. And I will yeah. echo what Dan Kane says in the chat. Luka Modric is one of my favorite players of all time. So if a- any MLS team could get Luka here for even a season, I would say sign him up. Do it. I don't care. If, if I'm thinking like someone I think is the right age but still has something in the tank that I think could be a dominant force, uh-huh. I would go Alexander Mitrovic. Oh, I think that is okay. a type of guy that could be successful in MLS. Okay. That yeah, like we're not talking about those top level like big names. He's telling us to take those out, right? No, that's that's a very interesting one. Um, I, I was going to say twenty nine years old right now. Lewandowski's a big name, and he's thirty whatever. Lewandowski, thirty four, thirty five. Lewandowski now. This yeah. is a good one. This is the guy I always wanted to come to MLS, and I think the window is closing. Mario Balotelli. Just really? I want to see him here for yeah. Where's he like even chaos. playing right now? Second level of in Serie A. Uh, Where is he? I just saw this the other day. I can't remember where Mario is playing. Can't for, know. for the record, I think Mitrovic is in what Saudi Arabia or something. He's in he's Saudi Arabia. Took the, he took the cash and left Fulham. Also, right. this one. How this old do you think Bal- How do you think, How old do you think uh, Mario Balotelli is right now? Mario Balotelli is tw- thirty-one years old. Thirty-three. Okay, I, I shorted him. Current team years. is. Uh, oh yeah, I knew this actually. He's in Turkey. Adana. Yes, Demis- that's right. Demir Spor. He's he's in Turkey. Yeah. Right. <laughs> So uh, but some, yeah. I feel like Mo Salah is on that level of the players he said we couldn't do. Oh, yeah. You know? That's cheating. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's And this is what Aaron's saying it right. Players who don't want to go to Saudi Arabia, basically. Or players that are maybe in line for Saudi Arabia, but MLS might be able to entice that's, them. With and the I guess where my, th- my thought process was on Mitrovic, you know, is like yeah. a player that's looking to go someplace other than, than Europe that could still have gas. He's only 29. And that big body, I love the way he plays in the air. And you know, MLS tends to do be a lot of crossing. Um, I, I don't know. Uh, it depends. Okay, let's see. Uh, you got any more from the chat? I saw. I saw a couple more. Yeah, here's one maybe right here. Pe- uh, okay. This one is from. This from Dan again. Uh, Giuseppe Rossi or Freddie Adu? Whose career would you have rather have been a standout? Okay, let's put that up on the screen for everybody. Okay, Giuseppe, Giuseppe Rossi or Freddie Adu? Whose career would you rather? So this is just like what our wish was. Like whether I'm gonna do this. Because yeah. <laughs> I haven't heard in a while, and you know, DVD and all that. Um, Boys to Men, BBD. Wow, ABC. East Coast family. Um, I know who my answer is on this. I think my answer is Freddie. He would have. It has so to be more. the other one's not even playing for America. Like yeah. Giuseppe Rossi. Well, I like, think if he was a big standout, it would have been Italy's win, not ours. Right. So, so if if you switched universes and we're in an alternate reality, and Giuseppe Rossi has chosen to play for the United States, this is a very different question. Yeah. Because then it's. Do we want Giuseppe Rossi, who was incredibly talented, who probably had a higher ceiling than Freddie? Because obviously Freddie, you know, we don't really know what kind of player Freddie could be. He had some great technical things in his bag, yeah. but he was so young. Even if you don't believe he was young, he was so raw. It didn't, you know, the path was bad for Freddie. But come on, the the fact that Freddie Adu was like on every morning talk show, being mentioned in every American not just sports, but like across everybody knew who he was. Yeah. If he had had all the, the career, stars were aligning from a media side to really blow that player up. Had he yeah. just been good enough. All right. Dan is clarifying. He meant on the U S men's national team. So again, oh. if Giuseppe Rossi had chosen to play for the country of his birth and not the country of his. So then it becomes heritage. about that, that type of player who, and I think they're similar type of players, to be honest with you too. I think, uh, I think may not, nah, I guess Rossi was always more of a false nine under the striker yes, kind of a yeah, player. Yeah. Whereas Freddie well, you, Adu is more of a 10, which is slightly a little further back than that. I mean, Freddie could do a lot of things when he was on, when he was good. And obviously for the U-20s, he was incredible in moments. I, he was he was a drifter. Like, he was one of those guys. He's like what G, what Gio's doing now, I guess, is where you would want him, right? That's where you would want uh, Freddie Adu? Yeah. Like, where is I, he right now? Yeah. No, I think where, so. Where is he? Where is Freddie he? Freddie Adu? Where's Freddie? Where's Freddie? Uh, probably in a Barca lounger somewhere. I don't know. And here's the difference between these two players. Like Freddie's story was. Do you really believe Freddie just signed with the team right now? No. Okay, I was just wondering if you actually thought he was signed with the team. No, no, no. No, I said, where is he? Not who does he play for? Oh, I think like where is he? As in what team? No, 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 no. I what I say is that the the difference between those two players is that Freddie Adu, who was exploited and and made to carry the burden of an of an entire league. And you know, given a lot of money for it relative to I'm, uh, here's a little mini, a middle of mini game for you. Uh-huh. What is the last team you remember him playing for? And I'm going to see how many years and how many teams back that is. 
he played in the second division in Poland, and the coach there didn't want him when he showed up. I can't remember the name of it, but that's so that's cheating, I guess. Poland? Yeah, I think it was Poland. Uh, Maybe see, Finland. Maybe Finland. Well, you can't just name countries. What I know. Happened? So Bahia in in Brazil. Bahia in Brazil. That was 2013. Yeah, I know. 11 years ago. ago. He had was, one, two, that was three, before... four, five clubs after that. Or, oh, Nicholas Murray just gave it. He gave it away. He played for that the is Las not Vegas correct. Lights. No, that is, is that not? is his second to last club. Oh, you're saying it's not his last team. Yeah, but it's the last time he ever played because the team he signed with after that, three years later, he had zero appearances, zero goals for. It's another lower division team in America somewhere. No, it is no? Osterlin in uh-huh. Sweden. Oh, okay. He had okay. zero appearances, zero goals, but he signed with them in 2021. That is the last time he was playing. Did he play with the Rowdies? I know Joe Cole. Rowdies was right before Las Vegas Lights. He was uh, for once, 12 appearances, zero goals. Las Vegas Lights, 14 appearances, one goal. Philadelphia Union legend, Freddie uh, Adu. Here's another question for you. Yeah. Did Freddie Adu ever have a double-digit scoring team? The whole time he was with the team, did he ever get to double digits in scoring? You mean like 10 goals? For the whole time in, he was with them, in the, the career with the club. There. Man, I want to say he had 10 with RSL. He didn't have 10 with RSL? One. One, one. He only had 11 games with Real Salt Lake. Oh, well, I thought he had a little bit longer. So that was that fast. DC dumped him. He went to RSL and they sold him like that. Yeah. Wow. Wow. So the only team he ever got more than 10 goals with was DC United over 87 right. games for 11 goals. Next best after that. Well, think is... about that. He was 14, 15, 16, 17 yeah. years old. Yeah. 11 that's goals playing against grown ass men. That's he wasn't, that's not like he wasn't good. And then no, the other, the no. next best thing he did was at Philadelphia Union. Sometimes I forget he was even there. Yeah. Just for a uh, Union legend. Fed yeah. 35 appearances, seven goals. Yeah. Not that okay. goals were ready to do is really his game no, anyway, they really though, were. but they were really, were. I mean, I have one moment. Can you, if you, if there's one indelible national team moment, do you have one with Freddie? It's, it's, it's U20. It's not, it's not like, I remember the U20 world cup team. Gold cup, Bob Bradley era. I can't remember what year exactly. I'd have to think about Oh nine, maybe Oh nine, maybe later. Uh, oh nine. Okay, no, so Bob got oh, 09 fired. was the fail harbor wonder strike goal. That was, I believe that was 07. That, that was 07? 07. Oh, okay, I think that was 07. 2000, yeah, 2000. Bob Bradley Gold Cup. This may have been the Gold Cup that Mexico thumped us in the final chicken dance final, and, and Bob lost his job, but I believe it was against Panama, and Freddie hit a 70, 70 yard ball. You're right. Cross field 70 yard ball on a dime. I mean, so yeah, this maybe Thomas is what I'm talking about. 2011 in the final. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So I go back and watch the highlights of that. If you want to see good Freddie Adu, what was possible with Freddie Adu? All right. Uh, we're running out of time, rapidly running out of time. We got a yeah. bunch of slack ones. Let me go back to the slack. Hit one more. Hit one more. This is interesting. This is a whole bonus show from our man, Dave, David Herks. Oh. Now that X Men 97 is such a great oh. success. Which I haven't watched it. I haven't watched it yet. It. But I, every time I hear the theme song, I'm like, oh, God, I start getting it like wasn't the... a, It wasn't a thing for me. So it, I would be coming in clean on X-Men, whatever. I was That was okay. not my thing. But what is the next 80s cartoon or TV show that needs to be rebooted? But he says next 80s. That wasn't an 80s cartoon. That was a 90s cartoon. No, that's true. He he did so say can we 80s. say 80s or 80s? Because like, my answer was a 90s one. Yeah, sure. You go for it. Go for it. For me, I think the next one that could have a similar success as X Men '97 is because it hits a lot of the same hallmarks and it was so good in his day. Ba- Batman the Animated Series. Batman okay. the Animated Series was so okay. good. But but so you want to see them like update the Batman the Animated Series? Yeah. The basically. problem is, I believe the voice of Batman for that series is no longer around. Do you know who the voice of the Joker was in that? Uh, is that Mark Hamill? Did the is Mark voice Hamill, Luke Skywalker? Yeah. Is I know that, and I didn't watch the show, but I just know that from like absorbing pop culture. I like this one. Remember this one from William Stevenson, Gargoyles? I don't remember that show. I remember that one. Oh and wait, maybe Dan I Kane do says, a little bit. Dan Kane says GI Joe. Uh, what's uh, yeah? What, here's what, Steve right here. So, Kevin Conroy. That was the voice of Batman. Okay, so 
I remember in I, Slack someone said Silverhawks. I love Silverhawks. That's a good that. shout. This okay, this is a shout. This is so 80s, it feels a little bit more pertinent for me. So they've already done Voltron. It's fine, whatever. It, mm. it was okay. I didn't I enjoyed it. Thundercats. That's an interesting one. It's a weird mm. one, but it's an interesting one. We've obviously t- turned Transformers into a, a franchise in movies. We don't need. I mean, I think this had a really big. That, I, I think this had a really big following in Japan and less in the U.S. But I remember being very struck back in the day by the emotional th- st- storyline of the series. Do you remember Robotech? I, I I do. I remember. I don't think it was it popular existed. enough to have the same trend to like um, the life that X-Men 97 is having right now. But right. I did enjoy that. It also. Oh, man. So, OK, I, I just looked up. I, I need some reference. But somebody said Rugrats in the chat. And I yeah. guess they've already done that with like 3D animation. Did they do Thundercats on Netflix? Man, see, this is the thing. They keep doing it. And then I miss it. So yeah. I'll have to go check that out. Um, Ren and Stimpy. What do you think about rebooting Ren Ooh, and Stimpy? It'd be interesting because it was so avant-garde and ahead of its time then. Yeah. How yeah. would it it'd be considered tame these they tried days? They to kill that show like multiple times. Like it was Nickelodeon. MTV. That was on just straight Nickelodeon. Regular Nickelodeon. You know, yeah. next to Salute Your Shorts or something. Like it, like Ren and Stimpy was dirty. I, it was grimy. It was, it was, yeah, it was, it was great, gross. you know? Yeah. Um, I, I honestly think it would have a hard time staying. It's kind of similar to the Beavis and Butthead reboot that happened recently, which was actually well-written and did. It just isn't as edgy as it was then, you right. know? And I feel like the needle, right. needle has to move harder now to, to get that same effect. In terms of like that mood and that, that the atmosphere of it, the, uh, 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 did they do Invader Zim? Somebody tell me they did. They updated Invader Zim. Do you remember Couldn't Invader you. Zim? Okay. I remember of it. I never watched it myself. Thought that was a good one. Okay, there's there's some there's some good. A- ones. Is Max Animaniacs with the big or not Max? What am I thinking of? Was that one of the the like with Eon Flux and all that from? Liquid oh, with Max was like a big brain. Was that what it was? Something I thought it was like big teeth, massive teeth mm. for some reason. Okay. okay, I remember Eon Flux on MTV. This is a good point from Clayton. The guy who did Ren and Stimpy is like legitimately a um bad dude so oh is not, he yeah he's legit i had no idea dude. my bad they updated animaniacs they did one my kid loves animaniacs mm. loves it and they they brought it back recently and he's watched all of them okay the problem is they've brought so many back and failed that it, yeah. it's hard to to nail okay. them down um a couple more very quickly here uh jonah says would you rather live in a world with no coffee or no Toilet paper. Easy. I've never drank a cup of coffee in my life. Toilet. I, I, uh, no I coffee. Would say, I would say no coffee too because there's other things. Even though I embrace coffee. the bidet lifestyle, I still go dry, dry, wet, dry. Uh, what? Hold on. You're gonna what? What? what no, what, that's uh, what, proven. Pro, it's the proven pattern for for a hole cleanliness. Wet, dry, dry, yeah, dry I, wet, I, dry. So you think that after you go wet, dry you with the TP, dry? dry with the TP, wet. Yeah, you can't walk away with a wet but bone. But it's hole. not dripping. The last it's just it's just moist. It it's is moist. Sometimes it's kind of dripping wet. I'm not gonna lie, dude. Well, from the you, wet, from the tell wet me, wipe? tell me you don't use a bidet without telling me you don't use oh, a bidet. The, the that bidet. right there. I yes. forgot about the bidet. No, I'm not talking wet wipe. I'm talking with a bidet, dry, dry, wet, dry. Well, of course, if you use a bidet, you have to dry. You can't walk away with just bidet, but that's not. Yeah. That's not the best. Yeah. So the last okay. dry is just for you. Okay, uh, and then our man Phil and Mike Tin, or as he some, sometimes know, Mike and Philly. Uh, yes, hold straight. on, but still, Steve Delgado, I like DDWD for dry, dry, wet, dry. We need bracelets like JJAWD. <laughs> DDWD. Jared Dubois' face. Yes. Just wait, the wink and, it, says, it says DDWD, and the yeah. other side it says Poo Strong. <laughs> <laughs> that's too much that's too much i don't i don't that's I don't, our first I, bit of merch come on i mean we got some merch but yeah we probably need more merch all right uh phil and mike did he's got a rapid fire couple of oh, okay red bull or monster i don't think that one's i don't i don't care about that one um red bull this one goes hard to the heart of the matter uh after like the name of the segment bell bib devoe or new edition bell bib devoe had no doubt the bigger hit of the two, but New Edition had better singers and better songs, I think. But yeah, I, I would so I would go with BBD because if I was listening in the club, I would want right. to hear BBD three times in a row before yes. I heard any No Edition song. I think so. New Mr. Edition, Telephone Man or something, wait, wait. Mr. Telephone Man, and uh, but you think of the girl, artists that were in New Edition. Not I mean, girl, honestly, well, sorry, BBD is half of New Edition anyway, so it's kind of a cheat, right? right there anyway. It's almost like it's almost like your. 
taking the evolved version. Like I'm not a Pokemon guy, but it's not like the like BBD is the evolved version of New Edition on some level. I know you're missing a couple of pieces. I get it, but yeah. but I, I think I got to I think I got to go New Edition because I do lose I lose Poison. I know I lose Poison, but you get Bobby Brown. I get Bobby Brown. There's so much talent in that. Was it Key Sweat in that? Uh, Ralph Tresvon. Ralph Tresvon. Uh, That's what I was thinking. Yeah, Johnny Gill. Johnny Gill. Michael Bivens. Ronnie DeVoe. Yeah. Rick, uh, to say Ricky Bell. Uh, yeah. Okay. So Ralph Tresvon's voice back then Ralph in Tresvon. that day, smooth, Ooh. satin, oh, satin, baby, goodness. velvet. Give you the vapors. Um. Yeah. All right. Uh. And I think is that is that am I tapped here? Uh, well, Mike gave us an F Mary kill, which is, uh, we'll finish with a soccer one. Okay. This will be great. Mm. F Mary kill. And I know there's a soccer ver Somebody plays a soccer version of this, like start sub, like start sub bench or, or something like that. Like, no, like it's like a soccer version, but this one is, and this is more about personality. F Mary kill. Pulisic, Giovanni Reyna, Tyler Adams. That one's. Okay, where are you going? I think there's uh, an obvious. There's one choice that is absolutely 100 percent obvious. Kill Pulisic. <laughs> no, that's, that's yeah, not for me. Honest. If you're talking I about mean, personality, you've got no personality. <laughs> okay, so uh, but that's okay. I don't think that's the obvious one. I think start I, bench transfer. Thank you. I, I think story. Mary that's Adams because the yeah, dudes that that's, get... that's the one I think is obvious. Mary and, Adams. and Gio, you have a fling with man. Like he's a good time. Okay, so yours. Okay, all right. Because here's the thing: you can't marry into that family. <laughs> you don't want to you can't marry <laughs> into the reina family dude <laughs> yeah that's how will how how is claudio reina as a, as a father-in-law uh, what do you think i, I I'll, I'll tell you what no wife will ever be good enough for that mother that's a good point that's a good point yeah you, you do have to worry about that a little bit but man, that's you're you're related to soccer royalty. I mean, whatever Geo is, you'll always have that. He's he's American soccer okay. royalty. He's Captain America. He's he's been there. He's done it. He's he's run Austin FC. Can you imagine the fear that hits your heart when you see your mother in law's name come up on the phone? Your mother in law calls you. Yeah. Oh well. Mother in law. I'm a good son in law, but I you know my communication with my mother in law is a little bit different than yours. So I have to yeah. I I see her on the video chat when my wife calls, and I'm like, "Hola, cómo estás? Todo bien?" You know, that's that's kind of my relationship. Or, or you know, when I'm in Puerto Rico, it's like, eh, ¿qué quiere, quiere comer? No, 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 no estoy. So you're on the you're on the hambre. F Pulisic train. No, I'm with you. I think you're. Yeah. I think you've. I think you've zoned in on the correct one. It's. Yeah. It's Mary Tyler Adams. He's the nicest dude of the bunch. He's Mary Tyler Moore. trustworthy in all ways. He's he's actually a dad, so you know that there's going to be like he's got yeah. the paternal vibes. And and you're right, Pulisic. I I don't think it's that Pulisic doesn't have a personality. That's not what I think it is. He just chooses not to show it to anybody. But he's not the bad boy, and and you always want the bad boy, right? He uh, Gio Reyna is the Pacey. <laughs> oh God. Okay. Well then, who's Who's Dawson then in this? Pulisic's, Pulisic's Dawson? a Dawson, dude. Pulisic's a Dawson. Let's be honest. What kind of a whitey bitch? I don't even remember that show enough to know who the other male character that that. Oh, uh, the gay dude, the brother of uh, of Je 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 Williams, um, <laughs> Jennifer <laughs> Williams, or whatever her name is. Uh, oh, right, 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 right. I can't remember what that character's name was though. What was, was Jennifer? Seat, what was her name? Jennifer Williams or Melanie? Something Williams, the one that was married to Keith Ledger, Heath Ledger. Yeah, um, but it's not Jennifer. I can't I don't remember what her name, name is. Melissa. But... Melissa? No, something. Michelle Williams. M Michelle. See, I went through yeah, all the Her amazing. brother on the show was the third dude, of and you didn't know the... he was gay for the first couple seasons. All the right work, white girl but Ray is M names. But Pacey, dude. You're right. He is the Pacey. So, yeah, if Gio Reyna showed up, and this is all I remember because I haven't watched it so, so and so long, except I watched the first episode for some reason a couple I don't years ago. Wait. Maybe it was because of the pandemic and we were all doing weird stuff. But if Gio Reyna was like, yeah, I'm sleeping with my teacher, you'd be like, yeah, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, totally I don't want to wait for an <laughs> EPL right. start. That's right. I saw a story, just to bring us back to the news, that uh, there's a lot of talk in Germany about how Dortmund really screwed it up by sending Gio to Nottingham Forest because they wanted to goose his value and sell him in the summer. And now it's not happening. I mean, he played half an hour on the weekend, right? Yep. Okay. I think he's had 20, 30 and 20 his last two, I think. That's an improvement, but that's yeah. still a team that's, uh, you know, and again, yeah, it's, it's tough because it's relegation. 
All right, uh, man, this was fun. I like it. Uh, I like we it. Thank we you. didn't talk about anything. Thank you to Kyle. Kyle, you're the man, Kyle. Happy birthday. You beat me. Um, I couldn't remember 2002, long time ago. Couldn't remember, what else, 2021 somehow? No, yeah. that wasn't me. Was First that Nations me? League. First Nations League. Ah, oh, man. Yeah, suck today. Yeah, it's been a long day. Man, I've you get paid a, to do this? I've done a lot of radio today and other things. I should I have given some... you the 94 World Cup squad and see if you would have forget Winalda. Ran six miles. No, I would not forget Winalda. I would say Reyna, who was on that team but didn't play. Yeah, I think he was benched for most of his yeah. games. I don't think he started it was injured, injured, I think. Um, or maybe not. Maybe he just didn't play because he was 20 years old and we didn't do that back then. All right. Uh, Patreon.com slash the best soccer show. If you support the show and make sure we can keep doing this, uh, I, I'm working to, you know, create some more stuff around the show. Hopefully we'll get a bonus show out to you in the near future. Um, please subscribe. Be like, like Kyle. The videos on you, all of them. If you haven't, like, if you're like, oh, I just found the best soccer show on YouTube and it's great and I like it. And I'm putting shorts up there for some of our stuff. So if you don't want to watch the full video, I got you. Subscribe and like every single video. Just go back in time and like very quickly, like ching, 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 all the way down the page mm. and like all our stuff. And then if Hack you want to give us a rating and a review on the podcast, there you go. By the way, the perks for besties on the Patreon, um, ad free version of the podcast because we are squeezing a couple in, nothing major. Um, you get access to the bestie Slack, which as I, as we've said many times before, it's such a great soccer community. Bonus Lots show of versions of both the audio and video versions of the bonus show. And the video version of the bonus show is a chance to come incredible. on and beat Jason at a game. That's right. Yes. If you are a bestie, you get to come on here and make me look like an idiot. All right. Yeah. That's great. Okay. Any Anything else, Mr. Dubois? Any other business? That's it, buddy. To get to. All right. We'll talk to you guys next week. Bye. Calm down, Greg. It's soccer. It's soccer. Get to the chopper! Michael fucking Arasco Fiscal! What are we doing? The sausage king of Chicago. Go to DEFCON 2. Who asked those questions? Do feel respect for the gangster? Do feel respect for the gangster? Morgan has done it! F*** off, Tom. F*** you, Kendall. Don't talk to Tom like that. It's okay. Can I get a manager? <laughs>